Hey guys, it's Vlad with The Verge, and we're taking a look at the Lumia 610 right here. Uh, we've got um, Lee from Nokia to tell us about it. Uh, this is a new phone that Nokia is launching. It aims to be a little bit cheaper, a little bit more affordable for people. And part of that is the updated version of Mango that Mi Microsoft has released. That's right. And um, it will make it possible to run the OS on 256 megabytes of RAM and a slower processor, in fact. Uh, it's an 800 megahertz processor. That's right. What sacrifices have you made in the phone relative to the Lumia 710? Uh, no real sacrifices. I mean, obviously, uh, you need to be uh, you need to be aware, sensitive to certain issues. So we've turned off some of the background activity in some of the apps. So, for example, um, SkyDrive, you configure to do manual updates. You can still manually upload information to SkyDrive, but turn off that automatic upgrade because that that requires more power than is necessarily in there. But otherwise, when you're playing with it, you'll feel the same great experience. It feels just as fast. And that was the key, that the key to Microsoft working to develop this to be the same experience. They weren't willing to just allow lower specs in there and then actually get a reduced experience. And I think that's the experience that a lot of people get who go for more affordable smartphones or the kind of entry-level smartphones is they very quickly find that what they got was a, a lower experience. The idea here is you've got an introduction to the Lumia and Windows Phone experience, but at the same kind of performance levels. Well, I'm still seeing a lot of the UI animations are still present, so you haven't yeah. really trimmed down the UI too much. You like I say, it's background, yeah. it's background processes that you're losing out on, really. Um, I see it has a 5 megapixel camera. Is this the exact same one as in the Lumia 710? Uh, I'm not sure. That's OK. Um, somebody will you know, open it up, tear it down. <laughs> also, I've noticed uh, the back cover doesn't seem to be removable. So it's not removable back cover, not user accessible? No. So, well, that's another It comes in four difference. colors. So we've got it in um, white, black, cyan, and magenta. OK, and you've got these shiny bits the all over the sides. Yeah. Uh, all of them going to have these glossy elements to them? They do, yes. All right. And who do you think that's going to appeal to? Field. Um, it's try we're aiming for a younger audience than we are with some of the other products. Um, as I say, people who are coming in, maybe buying their first smartphone, certainly looking for an introduction into the platform. Um, trying to gate that, the combination of the kind of quality and aspiration in the design and look and feel of the product, you know, no one wants to feel that they're buying an affordable phone. And again, I think that's one of the compromises people often feel when they're coming into an entry-level smartphone. The idea here is you still feel the quality, you still get an aspirational device, you still get that same great experience, uh, but a lot more affordable. All right, and this will be available in Q2 as well? Q2. For 189 euros before tax and subsidy. Yeah, exactly, your estimated retail price. Any specific markets you want to announce, or you know, they no, again we haven't announced markets, and we, we leave that to the countries themselves to actually announce when they're getting ready to roll out. All right, thank you.